Dr. Wally Akanyemi has been focused on diesel combustion for over 20 years. In fact, I kind of like to call him Dr. Combustion. You ever look around at all the incredible technology in our world and think to yourself, how in the name of science does all this work? Me too. I'm Baratunde Thurston, and this is GE Masterclass. Can you break down how a locomotive diesel electric engine actually works? Just walk me through the pieces and how the power actually comes out of that. To extract the power from the fuel, generally you have to elevate some kind of a working fluid to a high level of pressure and temperature okay. because that's where you can extract energy efficiently from the fuel that you're trying to utilize for, for transportation. Now, that will spin the wheels of the crankshaft, if you will, but what we choose to do in a, in a diesel electrical locomotive is to use that to generate electricity that then runs an electric motor that spins the wheels of the locomotive. What, uh, what is the way that the diesel and the electric pair together, and why is that especially good for freight trains? The first thing really is the tractive effort that the electric motor brings to the table. Tractive effort. Tractive effort. Okay. And that really just speaks to how you get this thing to, to, to go. Okay. Uh, there was actually a, a time when the industry was going the route of electrifying the rails right. so that they could use electric motors, trying to retire the use of steam engines yeah. because of the advantages that electric motors bring. But as you can imagine, that creates a challenge of having to electrify all the rails that yeah. are available for our use. And so the bright idea came, well, why don't we carry our generator with us so that we don't have to rely on electric electrified rails when we go to these remote areas of the country. So you strap a generator so onto strap an electric a gener power. generator. It's something um, I like to call BYOP, like bring your bring own your power. Bring your own power, yeah. that's exactly I right. I just made that up, it's pretty good, right? It is very good. And what that does is it allows you to decouple the speed and the torque at which you're requiring the diesel engine to operate at okay. because you're not linking the speed of the engine with the speed of the wheels of the locomotive. And something, if I remember from physics, speed times torque equals power. Boom! The fact that we have that uh, separation between the speed that the engine is running at and the speed that I need the locomotive to run at yeah. just allows me more flexibility in the operation of the locomotive.